All right, guys, what is up, everyone? Welcome to another video, yo. I got something interesting for you today, man, something really special. Today, I'm gonna talk about something I never thought I'd be able to talk about because since the beginning of my career as a developer, I've never technically worked at a startup. I've worked for my first company, which has been around for 20 years, my second company, which has been around for more than 20 years, right? And now, where I am actually working is a startup. It's just so interesting, man. There's so many things. Like, as a developer, you always wondered how it would be like to work at a startup even as aspiring developer even if you're not a developer yet everyone wonders these things and if you are wondering man i'm gonna tell you this yo it is not what you thought it would be yo you will be more busy than you realize you will be shocked and i'm gonna tell you right off the bat that working at a startup is not for everyone so what i want to talk about today are things that people do not tell you about working at a startup as a developer as a software engineer whatever it is and so let's go to the first topic man number one you are joining a startup i know straight and simple right? you are joining a startup but when you're joining a startup unless you join like maybe four years after it's been started and it's still considered a startup yo you have to understand that nothing has been set. There's no perfect structure yet. They're still figuring out what the perfect structure will be. There's no perfect workflow because I'm the first front-end developer to join the company at the startup, being joined pretty much as a senior front-end developer at this company. It is crazy because there's nothing that's set. I came from my first job and my second job where there's managers who've been there for a while where they already had the perfect workflow. For example, like they already know how to work with Amazon Cloud or if they work with the Google Cloud or whoever they wanna use whatever cloud, right? All of these things have been set, but what I'm doing now, it's crazy because I'm the one who have to actually determine these things, yo. I mean, even the building we moved into isn't finished yet. It's insane, it's like a circus, man, where nothing is set yet, but you're joining a company and you are part of the very few people who get to decide what is what and how to do things. It's crazy. Secondly, man, I think this is something some people might know, but even if you know this, it does not mean you actually realize this, yo. The hours that you will work at that company is much more than you would work at a normal company, dudes. At least for me, right? I am the only front-end developer at the company. We have back-end developers as well. We have designers, but I am the only one that builds what people see, what future clients will see. And I went from working 40 hours a week, which I'm still doing, but there are many times because I have to keep up with the deadlines. And because it's a startup, I'm not just coding, yo. I'm actually doing all the things that are not directly with coding as well. And because of that, yo, there have been so many times when I've come home here to the hotel because my house isn't ready yet. I've come to the hotel and I'm coding until 2 a.m., 3 a.m. There's a reason, like for example, I have a big monitor here in a hotel because I need a monitor to help me be more productive. I use my laptop and I use my monitor when it comes to coding. There's so many times when I've had to work late, I'd go to work a little later, instead of going to work at 9 a.m., I'd go into the office like at 10, maybe 10.30, because I was coding at night. The thing is, right, they're not paying you to just work 40 hours a week. They're paying you to get results because this is a startup. They need to make money right away. I've literally had to hire my own video editor because of this reason. I'm so busy already running my own company, develop a brand and check it out, yo, link in the description below. But then I'm not only running that, but now I'm also building a company for this new startup that I just joined, right? Not even just that, dudes. I'm still in the moving process. I'm still trying to organize things for my dogs here in the back. I'm still trying to find places where to store my things until my house is ready. I just bought a car and that took half the day on a Friday. And so there's so many different things that you have to do other than coding because I just moved here. I just relocated here. I'm so new to the area. And so because of that, man, like there's so many more things I gotta do than just coding. It's tough. It's really tough. But again, I didn't join this company to be comfortable. I joined this company because I really wanted to experience something new. I want to do something different. But again, this might not be for everyone. This is not easy. But fortunately, man, I love what I do because if I did not love what I did for a living, yo, this would just feel like a huge burden. Fortunately, it doesn't. The third thing that I didn't realize I would have, which I've already had, but now I have more than ever, right? It's freedom. I have so much freaking freedom at this company, dude. It is insane. I love it so much, man. Like. As long as I'm getting my work done, that is what matters. Does that make sense? Now, there are a lot of things I'm doing, which I'm gonna talk about in the next topic, but what I mean in freedom as well is that because I am the main front end developer here, we do have a CTO that I work with as well, but when it comes to the front end aspect, I get to choose the technology we work with. I get to choose if it's Felt.js, if it's 
Vue.js, if it's React.js, or if it's jQuery, right? Or just vanilla, like I had the power to literally choose whatever I want to work with. If it's just plain CSS, so if I'm using Materialize, which I'm using Materialize, but then we can also move to LAS or SAS, LESS or SAS or whatever. There's so many different things that we can choose, but something that I never thought I'd be able to do is actually choose it because whenever I worked at a company in the past, they had the technology ready. You know, if you're gonna use Gulp, if you're gonna work with PHP or if it's gonna be Laravel, right? All of those things were set at those companies, but I get to actually choose that, which is so freaking exciting. So for this website, I'm choosing technology that I. I already know because they need results fast. But for the other websites that I'll be building, the other products I'll be building, I will be using technology that I haven't even learned yet. I want to, I just want to experience it. And how much more fun will that be? Especially because I'm the one that's building this on my end by myself. There's so much more I can learn. Like I couldn't do this at a regular company. Like if I was to join that job in Silicon Valley, yo, I'd be doing the same things I already knew at my last job at Entrepreneur. But I don't want to just know that same stuff. I want to improve. I want to get better at everything that I'm doing now. So. <laughs> It's amazing, man. Or even like, for example, right? Yesterday on a Friday, I went to the dealership at 12 p.m. and I was there until 4 p.m. Unfortunately, <laughs> I bought a car during work hours. And then what did I do? When I got home, after buying my car, I just coded at night. It's so much freedom and I, I love it, man. I just wanna do my best. And to be honest, man, it has been such a great experience so far. <laughs> okay, this next step, number four, man, is actually really serious. And I think this is something you have to grasp. And I kind of do wish I realized this too, because I'm not gonna lie, man, it has been an experience. And honestly, it's been really tough, dude. Working at a startup, no matter what part of the industry you're in, whether if you're a developer, designer, doing marketing, etc., yo, it is not for everyone. Because when you work at a startup, for example, I'm not just a developer, right? I, we have a CTO, but he works, or our CTO actually lives in Texas. So when I'm here in the office, I'm the guy who's actually taking care of all the security cameras. We do my research, what are the best security cameras we can use? Uh, for example, what furniture, what desks, what computer, what monitors? I'm doing all these different things. So trying to code this complicated website while still trying to set up our office and still trying to set up my house, <laughs> right? And still trying to make sure my dogs are fine. Yo, it is a lot of work. Yo, I'm not just coding, man. When we get the furniture in there, I'm moving furniture around because I know cameras, because I know how to use video equipment. We needed a, something for a conference room. And in the conference room, we needed a TV that we could set up so we can actually share things to the TV from our MacBooks using AirPlay. All these different things. It's crazy. There's so many things that I'm doing here. Or for example, there's something really heavy, right? We got people doing construction and we need more people to help carry things. Yo, step away from my computer, go to where I need to, and we carry this big ass wall. I'm like in soaking rain trying to lift this wall up, helping our construction people because we need things to get done. There's so many things that come with it, man. It's, you're not just a developer. You're not just a designer. Whatever it is you do, you are more than that. You wear so many different hats. But at the same time, man, as difficult as it's been for me, it has been so enjoyable. Because man, like I can't do this in another job. When will I ever be able to do these crazy things ever again? To be honest, in the future, let's say seven years from now, right? Five years from now, I join a new company doing cybersecurity. Yo, it's just gonna be a boring job. You just sit at a desk and doing what you usually do. Now, I'm not saying I'm gonna be bored because I love doing cybersecurity, it's really fun. But yo, this is just an experience, man. And it's been really amazing for me, but it's not for everyone. All right, guys, last but not least, this is really important, dudes. The last step, number five, is this. You cannot hide your talent here. You cannot hide whether you're skilled or not skilled. It will show, no matter what, like literally. I'm joining this company and I'm the only one building everything. Because of my experience, especially working at my last job, a fast-paced media company, because I've had to meet impossible deadlines, I've had to do things like work until 10 at night at that company too. Yo, because of my experience and because of all the failures I've had, what I'm saying is this, is that experience matters when it comes to startups. That's it, there's nothing else to say if I'm gonna end it there. You need experience to join a startup. Yo, like for example, man, I'm helping building these things. I hired a new designing team that works with me, right? I'm doing all these different things, but I know how to do these things more easily without even thinking, using very little brain power because I've seen these things be done at other companies, man. For example, man, now I know what is the correct way to write and organize code, how to not write dry code, which is really important. I didn't really learn that in my first company, but in my second comp company, I did that. I learned how to work with databases. I learned how to work with PHP, Laravel, and how I learned how to understand that even if you don't know how to solve the problem, you can if you approach it the correct way. If you don't know the technology, you can learn it if you approach it the correct way, but you don't know how to approach these things the correct way if you've never done that in the past. Does that make sense? For example, we didn't even have a ticketing system and I know a ticketing system that we could use. 
I didn't manage the team on my last job, but I know how to manage the team. Seeing how my manager is managing me, honestly, man, the boss from my last job, Jake, he was the best boss I ever had. Like seriously, man, he taught me so much and he really treated me like a friend. And so I'm doing the same thing. My goal is that people who work under me, I wanna do the exact same thing for them. I want them to feel like they're at home. I want them to feel like someone cares about them and they can trust me. That's more important to me than results. Now results are important, but if that first thing is taken care of, the results will be taken care of within itself. When it comes to startups, guys, experience is key. Anyway, man, that is what I wanna share. It's nothing personal as like my other videos, but I think in this day and age with so many new companies out there and so many new people learning code, it's important to understand what company you should join, man. If you wanna do startup, then do it. Just understand that it will be more difficult than working for a main company, but, right, more difficult than a regular company, I mean, but you will learn so much because you will be pushed to your limits. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. I love you all. This is Krishan. This is the life of web developer. And I'm out. Peace.